determine whether the value is a solution to the equation. You can use a calculator for these. For the fraction ones, I'm going to do them by hand. So negative 1 and 5, 6. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 5 more makes 11 sixths. And we're plugging that into the x position to see if that is equal to negative 1 and 3 eighths. Well, that would be 1 times 8 is 8, plus 3 more makes 11 eighths. Negative 3 times negative 11 makes positive 33, and 4 times 6 makes 24. Now, 3 does go into both 33 and 24. 3 fits into 33 11 times and into 24 8 times. But that is not equal to negative 11 eighths because a negative times a negative is a positive. So this is not a solution because those are not equal to each other. <coughs> Looking at this one down here, is 7 eighths a solution? So we're replacing that x value with the number 7 eighths to see if that equals negative 1 fourth. Well, negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. 14 times 8 is 112. And 28 fits into 112 exactly four times and into 28 exactly one time. So this is the same as negative one fourth. It reduces to negative one fourth, which is equal to negative one fourth. So yes, this is a solution. Number one says, is the relationship shown in the table proportional? Explain your thinking. For something to be considered proportional, Every time we divide the y value by the x value, it needs to come out to the same number. So 3 divided by 2, 6 divided by 4, and 9 divided by 6, and 30 divided by 20 should all come out to the same value for them to be proportional. Well, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, 6 divided by 4 is also 1.5, 9 divided by 6 comes out to 1.5, and 30 divided by 20 is also 1.5. So is this proportional? Yes, the constant of proportionality is 1.5. If we did not know the constant of proportionality, we could use this format, y equals kx, where you see they've replaced the x and y values with values from the table. Then the way that we would solve it is we would divide both sides by 20 to solve for k, which gives us 30 over 20, and it reduces to 1.5, which is the same value as the remaining uh, rows in the table. Now that we know that constant of proportionality, we can write an equation using y equals 1.5x. We replace that k with the constant of proportionality. Then we can go in and we can change out the x value for the x value in this table and solve it for y. Well, these parentheses mean to multiply, and 1.5 times 18 gives us 27. So the cost for 18 packs of gum would be $27. In number two, it says a recipe calls for two cups of flour to make 25 mini muffins. The table shows how much flour is used to make different quantities of muffins. Write and solve an equation to find the value of y. In order for us to write an equation, we have to check and verify that it is, in fact, proportional, even to begin with. So we'll do the y value divided by the x value. Twenty-five 
25 divided by 2 is 12.5, 50 divided by 4 is 12.5, and 100 divided by 8 is also 12.5. So it is proportional. Now that is our k value, our constant of proportionality. So we use that template y equals kx. Now we know k is 12.5, so we're replacing k with the number 12.5. So we wrote the equation, now we need to solve it for y. We are looking for y when x is 12, so we're replacing that number x with the number 12. Again, this means to multiply 12.5 times 12, which is 150. So with 12 cups of flour, we can make 150 mini muffins. So here's just a couple of different ways that they've solved it. You can see they've used some if-then moves. They said, well, 25 divided by 2, that's where that 12 and a half comes from. And that's going to equal the y value divided by the x value in the other situation. Then to solve it for y, since it's being divided by 12, they multiplied both sides by 12. And they also found that y was equal to 150. A new recipe calls for using two cups of flour to make 14 muffins. Use an equation in the form of, we're going to swap this out for y equals kx. To determine how many muffins can be made with eight cups of flour, check your solution. Back here we had x was the flour and y was the muffins, so we're going to continue to use those variables, x for flour and y for muffins. So again, to solve it for k, we divide the y value by the x value, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So our equation will say y equals, we're getting rid of that k and replacing it with 7. Then it says determine how many muffins, which is the y value, can be made with 8 cups of flour. The flour is the x value. So we're replacing that x with the number 8. And 7 times 8 is 56. So that is 56 muffins. Then it says check your solution. We can check our solution using that other strategy if you'd like. We had 14 over 2, and that should be the same as the y value over the x value. To get from 2 to 8, we would multiply by 4, and 14 times 4 also equals 56, so y has to be 56. How old will Liam be when Maya is 18 years old? Well, let's check and see if there's a proportional relationship here. The y value divided by the x value. 6 divided by 12, is that the same as 7 divided by 13? 6 divided by 12 comes out to 0 0.5. 7 divided by 13 is 0 0.538, and so on. So those are not the same. These are not proportional. So we can't use a k or a constant of proportionality to write an equation. We need to come up with a different strategy here. We need to look for a different pattern. So let's see. As these increase by 1, these increase by 1, and that increases by 1, that increases by 1. Let's look at how far apart Maya and Liam are in age. Well, to get from Liam's age to Maya's age, 12 
minus 6 would give us 6. 13 minus 6 would give us 7. 14 minus 6 would give us 8. And 15 minus 6 would give us 9. So to solve for this x variable, we have the equation y is equal to the x value minus 6. So we know, based on this table, that the y value here is 18. So we're replacing that y with the number 18. To solve this equation, we would add 6 to both sides to find out what x is. Well, 18 plus 6 would give us 24. So when Maya is 18, Liam will be 24. They're six years apart. For problems 5 through 8, determine whether the relationship is proportional. If it is, write and solve an equation in the form. Again, we're going to use the format y equals kx. If it is not, explain why it's not proportional. Noor participates in a sit-up challenge and completes 1,000 sit-ups in 40 minutes. Assuming this rate is constant, how many sit-ups does Noor complete in 15 minutes? That rate there is the key to tell us if it's proportional or not. So for something to be proportional, it must start at the origin and create a straight line, which means that it has a constant rate. So that clues us in that it is proportional because the rate is constant. Usually <coughs> time is represented on the x-axis. So we're going to use the minutes to be x and the sit-ups to be y. So if we're finding out that constant of proportionality, we need the y value divided by the x value that goes right along with it. This 15 minutes isn't paired up with the 1,000 sit-ups. That's going to be a different amount of sit-ups. So to figure out K, we're dividing 1,000 by 40, which is 25. So our equation will say Y equals 25X. And now this 15 minutes is going to replace that X value. So 25 times 15 will tell us how many sit-ups they can complete in 15 minutes, and that is 375 sit-ups. Your completes 375 sit-ups <coughs> in 15 minutes. The next one says, when Lily and Dylan work together, they can mop the gym floor in 45 minutes. How many people would it take to mop the gym floor in 30 minutes? So the question is, if I had two people and it takes them 45 minutes, is it gonna, are they gonna work at the same rate if they have three people? Well, no, three people are going to work faster. So the question was, if it's not proportional, explain why it's not proportional. Three people do not work at the same rate as two people. Mr. White assigns students to read a 238-page book in 14 days. If students read at the, read the same number of pages each day, how many total pages have they read after 10 days? So this one, if they read the same number of pages every day, that's a constant rate, so this is proportional. And like I told you earlier, typically time is the x value. <coughs> So the other one will be our y value. To find k, that constant of proportionality, we're going to divide 238 by 14, because those are the sets of numbers that go together. And this will tell us k. 238 divided by 14 comes out to 17 pages per day. y equals kx. 
This time we're replacing the x with the number 10. 17 times 10 is 170 pages in 10 days. In a scale drawing, one building has a height of 5 inches and its actual height is 40 feet. This is inches, this one's feet. A second building has a height of 15 inches. What is the actual height of the second building? Scale drawings do use constants of proportionality or in a scale drawing situation, it's called a scale factor, but we can find it the same way. So we're gonna divide 40 by five to figure out what K is. So that would be the Y value and the X value. 40 divided by five is eight. The small one is our X value here. So we're going to replace this X with the number 15 to determine the length of the big version in the large drawing. Eight times 15 is 120. So it would be 120 feet. Make sure all of your work is filled in for lesson 17 and check back for lesson 18 shortly.